So anyway, uh, I'm going to try to take you back in time about five years or so. I'm a 19-year-old sophomore in college, a bright-eyed young fellow, not at all the broken-down wreck you see in front of you. Um, and I was in my very first uh, long-term relationship. Now, long-term to me at the time was like nine months, because that's forever, right? Um, and unfortunately, it had just kind of stopped working for me, not for her. She was still uh, thrilled with it, but I was just kind of over it for a number of reasons. Um, but I had uh, another friend who was in kind of a broken down relationship, and she uh, had exited it quite thoroughly. Uh, no, 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 it's not going there. <laughs> um, she had exited the situation quite thoroughly uh, as of late. And I was kind of inspired by her pioneering spirit and decided that I was going to try to get out of this relationship. Um, the problem being this was, as I mentioned, my first real like, long-term relationship, and I had never actually broken up with anyone before, so I had no idea how to go about it. And, like, I saw her too often to just give her the text, you know, and that's kind of a weasel way out anyway. Um, so I'm trying to think of how I'm going to deliver this, right? Uh, and she said, I'm talking to her that evening, and she says, well, let's go out to dinner. I'm like, okay. Uh, and I don't know how many of you have seen uh, Eternal Sunshine and Spotless Mind. They have that scene where they're uh, just sitting there eating and just not talking at all. And there's just no speech whatsoever. They're called the Dining Dead. And, and that's what it was. It was an hour of just sitting there eating and not a word is spoken. And I'm dying inside as this is happening because it's just killing me because I know what's going to happen. And it's just, I can't. You know, you can't say, oh, I'm probably going to get this, and then we shouldn't see each other anymore. Like, it doesn't work that way. So we're on the way back to her dorm, um, and I start kind of, like, broaching the subject. Like, I'm, you know, gradually trying to work into it. I'm like, oh, you know, my friend who broke up with her boyfriend, she's, uh, she's doing well, you know. And it's, like, it's just, it's so painful. It's so tough to do. Uh, especially, like, she hadn't done anything wrong, you know, it just, it just wasn't working anymore. So I couldn't be like, oh, I remember that time you, you know, screwed my friend. No, there's nothing like that. Um, so we get to her room, and I basically do the deed. I said, look, it's, this is really not working. I don't really think we should be seeing each other anymore. And, I mean, I didn't do as good a job as I could, um, but she certainly did not handle it well <laughs> at all. Uh, so she starts losing it, and I have no idea what to do. Um, especially, you know, I, f I already feel like a tremendous piece of shit for, you know, doing the breakup in the first place, and she's bawling her eyes out, and it's just really not working at all. Um, and then she says to me, I can't be alone in this room tonight, I need to go home. And she's looking at me like, well, and I'm looking at her like, you live an hour and a half away. <laughs> And at that point, I mean, like I said, 19-year-old, I had no idea what to do, so I figured, look, you know, what's, I already did the damage, I might as well, you know, at least try and do kind of the right thing and drop her off. So that's how I ended up in the car for an hour and a half with a girl I had just broken up with, <laughs> who's bawling her eyes out in the passenger seat, alternating between, like, saying, you know, incredibly hurtful things, which is completely understandable, but, like, terribly hurtful things, and then, like, um you know, terribly self-deprecating things, and, and like, So yeah, hour and a half car ride with someone you just broke up, I don't recommend it. I, though, it has to be said, I actually do feel kind of good about it, because, I don't know, I felt like I kind of, you know, I feel like I did the right thing. 